What's up, YouTube? And welcome back to my channel, Chasing Sunray. This is Radiance White, and we're back with episode three of Sunray CIY or Sunray Crochet It Yourself. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to make this beautiful Lolita crochet crop top or bathing suit top, huh, whatever you want to use it for. It was fairly simple and easy to work up. I will say, though, that this crop top is fairly see-through so you know it's not for the faint of heart so those of you who are daring enough to you know wear it as is then you'll be fine but for those of you who like a little bit more coverage you may want to sew in fabric on the inside of the cups to keep it from being see-through and with that being said let's get right into this tutorial before we get started though I would like to give a huge shout out to Cassandra Crochets on Instagram she followed my overall tutorial pattern and tagged me in her finished product. I must admit, it looks wonderful. Thank you, Cassandra, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. You guys, make sure you go and check out her page on Instagram. She has some beautiful products. And with that being said, let's jump right into this tutorial. For today's project, we will be using a 5 millimeter hook. Some size 4 cotton yarn. I'm using I Love This Cotton by Hobby Lobby. A pair of scissors. And the written pattern if you need to follow along. So to start off, we will just be slip stitching and chaining 44 chains. You guys, this is for a size small top. I also have a written pattern for a size medium, but for... The sake of this video today, we will be making it in a size small. So yeah, we're just going to chain those 42. And once we chain those 42, you are going to want to double crochet in the third chain from the hook. And double crochet all the way down. Placing a stitch marker in your 21st double crochet. So yeah, you're double crocheting all the way down. And all together you should have a total of 42 double crochet when you're finished. And don't forget to place your stitch marker in the 21st stitch because that's very important. I didn't do it in the video because I mean I just count my stitches. But for those of you who aren't that advanced, make sure you place your stitch marker. So yes, that is row number one. And this is what your work should look like at the end of that row. So for the next row, you're going to chain two. That counts as the first double crochet and double crochet in the next 20 double crochets. This is where we start to make the first cup. So yeah, chain in the next 20 double crochets. So that should leave you with 21 double crochets all the way together. And I'm here I am coming up on the end of that. And here's what your work should look like. Now you're going to want to chain two, turn your work, and you're going to skip the next double crochet that second one right there and go right into the next one and then you're just going to want to double crochet all the way down to the very end placing a double crochet in each double crochet across so yeah here we are coming up on the end of that and make sure that you place a double crochet in that chain Two from the last round because that does count as a double crochet. I know sometimes people forget and it'll make your work start decreasing when it shouldn't. So now for the next row, we're just going to chain two and you're going to double crochet in the next stitch and, and in every one after that. So yeah, we're not decreasing any on this row. So here we are coming up on the end of this row. You're just going to double crochet in those last two double crochets. Okay. 
and this is what your work should look like at this point. Now chain two, turn your work. And we're going to skip the next stitch and go right into the stitch after that. And then you're just going to double crochet all the way down. At this point in the project, you should have 19 stitches at the end of this row. So yeah, here we are coming up on the end of this row. Yep, this is what your work should look like at this point. So now just chain two, turn your work, and you're going to double crochet down into, into the next 15 double crochets. Now, when we get to the end of this round, it's going to be a little bit different. Instead of just skipping one stitch, we're going to actually skip two. We're going to decrease two stitches. So what you're going to do is stop at the second to the last stitch. What we're going to do is double crochet the second to the last and the very last stitch together. So yeah, go into that second to the last and start doing the double crochet together. Then you're just going to go into that last stitch, skipping over the stitch um, beside it and finish off. And there you have it. This is what your work should look like. So chain two, turn your work. Now we're just going to skip that next stitch. Go into the next one. And you're just going to double crochet all the way down. At this point in the project, when you get to the end of this row, you should have 16 stitches. Yes. Now, this is what your work should look like. With the next row, we're actually going to decrease on both sides this time. We're going to start decreasing the outside edge. So chain two, turn your work, and you're going to skip that next stitch and go straight into the stitch after that. And when you get to the end of this round, we are going to decrease like we decreased in the last one, where we stopped at the second to the last stitch and double crochet the second to the last stitch and the very last stitch together skipping over that stitch in the middle. So yeah, here we are. We're just going to do this again. I'll show you how to do it again in slow motion. And at the end of this, we should have 13 stitches all together. Yep, just like that. This is what your work should look like. So now we're just going to chain up two again. Turn your work. We're going to skip that next stitch. And go into this one beside it and we're going to double crochet all the way down and once again we're going to decrease how we've been decreasing throughout we're going to stop at the second to the last stitch and double crochet that and the last stitch together skipping over the stitch in between it so here i am doing that and at the end of this round um, we should have 10 stitches. Yep. So now all you're going to want to do is chain up two once again. Turn your work. Skip that next stitch. Go into the one beside it. Double crochet all the way down. And once again, when you get to the end of this row, you are also going to stop at the second to the last and double crochet that and the last stitch together, skipping over the stitch in between them. And at the end of that round, you should have seven stitches. Yep, this is what your work should look like at the end of that, okay? So now all we're going to do is, once again, chain two, turn your work, skip that next stitch, double crochet in the one beside it. And once again, you're going to um, stop when you get to the second to the last stitch and double crochet that and the last stitch together, skipping over the stitch in between it. And at the end of this, we should have four stitches all together this is what it should look like chain two turn your work and now we are going to immediately decrease by double crochet and two together so double crochet that one skip the next one 
and do the last stitch of, as we have been doing throughout the whole entire project. And that's it. You've got the first cup completed. And now we're just going to start chaining up chains for the next strap. I chain 100 just so you'll have enough to go around and make like a choker style neck. So yeah, I chained 100 chains for that neck piece. And there you have it. That is the very first cup. It's completed. That was super simple, you guys. I hope you were able to do it, complete it. So now I'm just going to go here at another angle and show you how to do the other cup. You literally do the exact same thing. You are wanna gonna, you're going to want to turn your work, flip it over. And as you see, I'm counting the stitches to make sure I have 21 on the other side because you want your... um. Stitches to be the exact same as the first cup. You want the, the cup to look the exact same way. So yeah, you're just going to insert there. And you're literally just going to do the exact same thing for the other cup. So yeah, you're going to want to do the exact same thing. And here I am just fast forwarding so you can, you know, do it. If you need this as a written pattern... Check it out on my blog. It should be up by the time I post this video. Um, if not, you can just record the video and literally start it over and do the exact same thing for this second cup. Y'all, it's literally the same exact thing. So, yeah, here I am coming up on the very end of it. Getting ready to start chaining up the neck pieces. And again, I chained 100 chains for the neck piece. Yep, and there you have it. I'm finishing off. And you guys, when I um went to fake try on this top, I didn't realize that it was twisted up. But yeah, that's basically what we have so far. You know, we're almost done. All we're doing now, you can leave your edges raw, but me personally... I prefer to single crochet around the entire project because it just leaves you with a nice, neater finish. But yeah, this is, this is what you have so far. Okay, so for the edging, you're just going to want to, you can literally start anywhere, anywhere on the project for the edging. But I'm just going to start on this side of the cup and just insert my hook anywhere. We're going to be doing single crochets around. You're going to want to place two single crochets in each edge of the double crochet crochet rows that we just did so yeah here I am just chaining one now I'm about to place two double crochets in that first double crochet edge no as you can see yeah you're just gonna go all the way around till you get to the first corner the first corner to make the first side strap. Yeah, so here we are coming up on the very first side strap. And we're just going to chain um 300 and 25 I believe I chained once you chain those 325 you're just going to want to slip stitch all the way down until you reach back to the body of the top as you can see I am struggling to get this very first slip stitch in why is it always so hard to get that very first slip stitch on the chain I always have a hard time with that. But yeah, just going to slip stitch all the way down. And you guys, I know this is very tedious, but you definitely need to do it because you don't want your side straps to be too skinny. But yeah, here we are coming up to the very end of it. Once you get to the very last one, all you're going to want to do is continue, double cro up, continue single crocheting around the border. Yep, just placing a single crochet in each of the bottom double crochets. 
the bottom edge. And um, I'm just going to switch angles for you in a minute so that you can see. Yep, this is me. Showing you guys. I'm coming up to the end. I just got to the very end and I'm now doing my chains to my side straps. And again, 325 chains for this. Yeah, and here we are. Now you just want on a slip stitch all the way back down, just like we did on the first side strap. Yep. And you guys, this top is so simple and so easy and quick to work up. You know, it takes literally no time to make this top. I think it took me about 30 minutes in all to make this top, even while filming. It was super simple to make. Yeah, we're just slip stitching all the way down. And I promise you guys, this is so tedious. Oh, I hate doing it, but it's very much necessary. But yeah, here we are coming up on the end. And now you are just going to want to continue single crocheting around the edge of your top. And when you get to the next straps, what I do, I just like to slip stitch over that chain and just keep continue um, single crocheting down the edge. I didn't show this up close on the camera, but yeah, that's what I did. I just... um. Slip stitched over my neck chains. But yeah, here we are coming up on the very end of this. And that is it, you guys. You're just going to want to slip stitch into that very first single crochet and finish off. And there you have it. Your top is completed. All you need to do now is sew in the ends, which I didn't do on camera. But yes, that's it. You're done. Done with this top. As you can see, I'm just playing around showing you guys what it looks like. What it looks I can never say that. That's like a tongue twister. What it looks like. Oh, I still can't say it. what it looks like. But yes, that is it. That is your finished top. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys were, you know, able to make the top. I hope it was my instructions were clear. I enjoyed showing you guys this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And the once we get to a thousand subscribers, I will be showing you a video tutorial on how to make this marijuana bathing suit. This is my own design. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and let me know how you feel about this tutorial. You know, I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, stay sunny and happy crocheting. Thanks for watching.